Get ready, because we're making my timing's impeccable. Stay to the end to see the full drizzle. Now, I was trying to keep the calories low, so I didn't want to use butter or eggs in this. We did have to use heavy cream because you kind of have to do that. We're just throwing all of our dry ingredients together. When you're cutting up the nectarines, you want them to be ripe, but you don't want them to be too ripe because then you won't be able to slice them. And if you're just smashing everything together, then you won't get those nice little chunks in the scones at the end. Then we're just gonna add those in with our dry ingredients and incorporate them. You don't have to mix it too much because you know we're just gonna mix these later on. Then we're gonna add our wet ingredients. In the recipe, I mix all the wet ingredients together and then add them to the dry ingredients. But in the video, as you can see, it's a little bit different. Either way, we'll get to where we're going. Then you're gonna add the mixture to a lightly floured parchment and just gently knead it. This dough was a little bit stickier than scones I've made in the past, but either way, it's gonna work. We just add a little bit extra flour. There we go. What we're trying to do now is just get everything to the same thickness and we're putting it in a ball. Now, you practice your pizza cutting skills. Here's a quick little pro move. If you do everything on the parchment, then you can just slide it under the pan. Now we bake. Once cooled, drizzle with icing. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. See you guys next time.